I'm Joe. Today, we're taking a walk on the lighter side. Yeah, we've been hitting pretty heavy with some intense topics lately. I need a break from the madness. So today, we look at a bunch of bullshit misconceptions. First up, you only use five to 10% of your brain. This is just silly new age hippie bullshit, mainly because the vast majority of your brain isn't for cognition. This idea has been traced to William James, who argued in The Energies of Man that we are making use of only a small part of our possible mental and physical resources. This was written well before real science took a hard look at our melons. Recently, neurologist Barry Gordon at John Hopkins School of Medicine in Baltimore has said, the 10% myth is so wrong, it's laughable. Uh, over the course of a day, cumulatively, we use 100% of our brain function. Just not at once, because that's called a seizure. Here's another one. Cracking your knuckles gives you arthritis. This old wives' tale probably started by some uptight ditty who just didn't like the sound. And anyone who still believes this has never seen a chiropractor in action. Dr. Kevin D. Weber did a study called Knuckle Cracking and Hand Osteoarthritis. Published in April 2011, Journal of American Board of Family Medicine, he found no connection. However, two researchers from the Department of Internal Medicine, Mount Carmel Mercy Hospital, Detroit, Michigan, have found that knuckle crackers who are habitual drinkers and manual laborers may actually have reduced grip strength after studying 74 habitual knuckle crackers. Yeah, great science there, guys. I'm sure the fact that nearly everyone in the study was getting old and mostly lifetime manual laborers had nothing to do with the loss of grip strength. Now, here's a popular one. Give cats milk because they love it. Actually, all adult mammals are supposed to be lactose intolerant. In more developed countries, we humans, who are mammals, don't because we typically never stop drinking milk and eating dairy. So our bodies continue to produce lactase, the enzyme that can process lactose. But cats are lactose intolerant, and giving them milk causes diarrhea. And no one wants a cat with diarrhea. <clears throat> this one you probably heard in grade school. Deoxygenated blood is blue. This myth began somewhere in the 50s, and yeah, you probably first heard it from your grade school teacher during health lessons. Vein color is determined in a large part by the color of the venous blood, which is usually dark red as a result of its low oxygen content. Veins appear blue because of the subcutaneous fat absorbs low frequency light, permitting only the highly energetic blue wavelengths to penetrate through to the dark vein and reflect back to the viewer. And, important fact, if any of your blood was actually deoxygenated, <laughs> you're in some serious shit. Which is not to say you wouldn't want to be a blue blood. No, not those blue bloods. Now, this one became a hallmark of government overspending. NASA spent $1 million developing a pen that could write in space. Yeah, while the Soviets were using pencils. <laughs> yeah, you've all heard that one. Fun fact, though, Americans were using pencils, too. Until we learned that sharp, brittle lead and kindling is pretty dangerous in zero-g. NASA, being into safety and all, wanted a writing instrument that didn't flake off nasty shards of lead into astronauts' eyes in zero-g. Or catch fire. Because, you know, Apollo 1 was pretty fucking horrific. Paul C. Fisher had spent over $1 million in trying to perfect the ballpoint pen before he successfully created pressurized pens in 1965. Samples were sent in, and in December of 1967, Fisher sold 400 pens to NASA, which he then used that endorsement to sell millions. NASA spent no money actually developing the pens. Now, this is bullshit advice. During a nosebleed, 
tilt your head back. All this is doing is making the blood run down your throat. Swallowing blood is not really an enjoyable experience for your stomach. Unless you're a vampire, but then you don't want your own blood anyways. To defeat a nosebleed, sit straight up and tilt your head forward. If you have Afrin, use it. If you have a cold pack, use it. If not, hang out for 10 minutes. Fun fact, the two most common causes of nosebleeds are being punched to the nose and picking your nose in that order. Now here's a pro tip. To worry less about treating a nosebleed, don't get punched and stop digging around up there. This one is actual government disinformation effort. Carrots improve eyesight. This myth was started in World War II. Britain's air ministry spread the word that a diet of carrots would help pilots see the Nazi bombers attacking at night. But actually, those sneaky Brits used the carrot story as a cover for why so many Nazi bombers were being shut down. In reality, their new top secret radar rocked. Can you imagine all the Nazi soldiers gorging on carrots and wondering why it wasn't helping? Carrots are rich in vitamin A, which is good to have healthy eyesight, skin, growth, and resistance to infections, but it does not improve your eyesight. This one defies physics. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. There is no reason that lightning would not be able to strike the same place twice. The objects and places which are more prominent or conductive are most likely to be struck. The Empire State Building in New York City is struck about a hundred times per year. And this poor guy, well, ooh, he's up. And, ah, ouch. Everyone would want to believe that consuming alcohol makes you warmer. Turns out, your blood vessels dilate upon consumption, moving the blood closer to the surface of your skin, making you feel warmer temporarily. At the same time, those same veins pumping blood closer to the surface causes your body to lose core temperature, which could lead to fatal hypothermia. So in reality, it just makes you feel better about freezing your nuts off. And to close with something very recently discovered to be bullshit, eating too much fat will give you heart disease. This has been developing for a few months now, and a newer study confirmed just last month. The study on PLOS is another in several dozen studies showing there is no correlation between dietary fat and lipids or fat in our blood. In fact, the study found significant health benefits for natural fats found in butter, cheese, eggs, and milk as well as everyone's favorite, bacon. And they found overwhelmingly negative health side effects were discovered from unnatural fats like hydrogenated vegetable oils, margarine, and Slim Jims. Of course, there is no reason to start gorging on fat. You gotta watch those calories, you know. But I do love me some bacon. Now there's no meter for this episode because it's all bullshit. I wanna thank all our viewers. Any day is a good day when you can squeeze in Macho Man Randy Savage into a video. The Next Level Bullshit channel just passed 100,000 total views. Thanks, guys. I want to thank one mad bastard for his comment. I don't usually watch the news or read papers, but I always watch NLBS. Very informative and funny. Thanks, dude. There's David Milgram who said, a turd guiding people through the bullshit minefield. You just smell, Joe. Do you feel better now? And Adam Flint was slightly more positive. Once you get the millions of views, I hope you can still keep it real, man. I always keep it real. Otherwise, what's the point? What's our swear jar total today? Just six. Once it totals 100, it's going to the Alzheimer's Foundation of America. Send a tweet with hashtag NLBS if you find news or events that are next level bullshit. Give us a short clip commenting on one of our topics or something that you think is next level bullshit. You can also email me ideas anytime at joe at nextlevelbullshit.com. 
And don't forget to go to thenlbs.spreadshirt.com to get shirts and other Next Level Bullshit swag. We'll see you on Friday with more Next Level Bullshit. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, and watch all our shows on nextlevelbullshit.com. If you're an HSBC mortgage customer in the UK, you receive this wonderful holiday card. That says, your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up your repayments on your mortgage. Happy holidays.